Right guys, it's Thursday. It's our squash, squash. Hey guys, it's Thursday. We're back. It's our squat session today. Again, nothing too uh, strenuous on the body. I think it's five fives for myself. Luke's doing box squats, I think five fives as well. Mm -hmm. Then we've got some accessory stuff, which we'll obviously show you when we're on to them. So again, a few new exercises, some higher rep stuff, just to keep ticking over, keep the body healthy. And uh, like we said before, we're uh, on reduced carbs, reduced calories, and we're so on uh, some volume stuff for training. So yeah, we're gonna go in, gonna have some fun, get warm, cause it's colder in the Highlands now. And uh, a big shout out to Simon, his, his window uh, <coughs> is a bit, um, what do you call it, on the side that doesn't switch up anymore. So, sorry Simon, uh, I'll buy you a new car, cheers. So at the moment we've got Luke doing some box squats, Tom's doing some sort of normal back squats. Squatting for strongmen isn't necessarily a priority movement, so it's something we want to tick over in case it turns up at Worlds. Squats for me today is five fives at an eight RPE, so not too much max, not too heavy, not too light, but I'll probably do, I don't know, 200, maybe five fives, I'll see, see how I feel, I can't be bothered squatting, but yeah, I'll, I'll do some sort of five fives, there's no weight anyway, so Dan doesn't care, so let's see what happens. Huh? For Lou, uh, he's doing them close to his deadlift stance, so we're using it to build that raw power for the start of his pull. Box squats, so I'm trying to mimic my deadlift stance uh, when I'm squatting, when I'm doing box squats especially. Kind of carries over a little bit more into my deadlift, so I'll probably go up to about 220. Uh, I think that was 120 we were there, so yeah, doing a couple of warm up sets, going to work in sets, five fives, and then that's it, nice and easy. It's about more of a feeler week to see where we're at with, with uh, weights and how we're going to progress. Everything's feeling so good so far this week. Legs today, and then events tomorrow, and then that'll be it. As Tom would say. They're going to be doing this for probably six weeks before we change things up. So both Tom and Luke are doing five by five for the first couple of weeks. Uh, training's been super intense, um, and the competition schedule at the end of the year was um, really heavy. Lots of competitions, really like back to back. Uh, so five fives, fairly easy weights at the moment. Just means that they can tick over, move some weight, get some blood flowing, and then probably in about three or four weeks, things are going to get heavier. The reps are going to come down, and we'll start seeing them shift some bigger numbers, and hopefully that'll translate to Luke's deadlift as well. Okay, that's our five fives done squats, so we went up to 220 as planned, so felt okay. Yeah, that's okay. 
just getting us breathing again. So uh, that was our main compound movement today. Next, we're going on to uh, Bulgarian split squat holds. So three in each leg for 30 second holds. Always fun. So we'll get that done now, and then on to the next one. So at the moment we've got uh, both guys doing a Bulgarian split squat isometric. Um, it's mainly for knee health and a bit of a quad pump as well. Isometric movements mean that um, sort of very small muscles are firing really quickly and that allows us to sort of get some blood into a tendon. Um, tendons generally don't have a really good blood flow. Uh, they can get a little bit dry and crusty, especially lifting heavy weights all the time. So these isometrics just get some blood flowing and can get the knees sort of healthy and a bit more stable as well. That's us done our Bulgarian split squat holds. Really fell in the in the groin after yesterday's mobility class, so nice and fatigued there. So that was that. What we want the next? Lion leg abduction sideline one. So it's just like a star first got a sideways. So three sets of ten. I think this hits their um, obviously abductors and hips and stuff. So yeah. helps you for your open stuff. So. We'll do it. Next we'll go next door. We'll go next door. We've got the guys doing a fairly typical booty workout, uh, lying abductor raise. Uh, again, in this phase of training, we've got a bit of time until competitions. Uh, we can make some decisions about sort of healing little injuries, getting rid of any weaknesses. So this is just getting like the medial glute working and building a bit more stability through the hip girdle. And it looks really funny. So it's always worth doing in a public gym. You would have thought putting your legs up to the side would hurt. <laughs> hey mate. You alright mate? Yeah, dizzy, dizzy blood. <sighs> Lion side abduction finish. Now we're going to be going on to hat squat, three sets of ten. Now again, building some volume and it's looped set first. Let's go. Uh, so at the moment we've got the guys in hat squats as well. Like I said, at the moment the Training sort of less competition focused, more about putting a bit more muscle mass on, healing any issues we've got. So the hack squat's a really good exercise. It takes a load off the lower back. It means they can just focus on their quads, focus on getting a good pump. Um, we want a good range of motion, as close to full depth as they can get on the machine. Obviously being bigger than the average gym goer, uh, their range of motion is a little bit limited, but we're just going to keep moving through as much range as we can, try and build as much strength throughout that full range of movement and try and get even bigger legs on both of them. Hack squats finished off, three sets of 10. Uh, we are now doing three sets of 25 calf raises just with body weight. And then last is some planks at the end just to finish off. And then we are finished. Nice and sweaty today. Yeah, it's been good. I'm going to have some doms tomorrow. I think we'll be suffering a little bit. So, thank God it's Friday tomorrow.
Wait, wait, and thirty. Legs done. As you can see, we're pretty sweaty, pretty out of breath. So I have a lot of dons tomorrow. So uh, first leg session back since been back from America. So it's hard. Came in early, but got it done. That's the main thing, you know. Ticking all the boxes. We do that every day. We're all good. But um, yeah, good session for myself. Good session for Luke. Again, just getting back to it. Nice few things. Nice high rep stuff today. Like I said, feeling, feeling the muscle working. So a big sweat on and then some planks at the end so guys thank you for watching thank you for the support stay safe smile and stay spicy and please don't forget to ring that little bell ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling.